What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and this is my review of the Johnny Lightning Godzilla Ground Assault. Um, ladies and gentlemen, my zillions, this is an in-package review, a very rare in-package review, but twice this summer I've done one of these. Um, I have no interest in opening this. This looks really cool on its own and I will show you as much as I can. So if you want to call this a cop-out review, you can. You could say whatever you want, but it's not yours to decide, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, <laughs> this is one of those things. See, I don't collect cars, right? I do collect Godzilla stuff, but I don't collect cars. And when uh, I do get something like this, very rarely, um, it's kind of nice to keep it as is because if I take this Jeep out of this packaging, it no longer has any meaning to me. Like, no matter how I would set it up on the shelf, this, this, this would be gone. So what you have here is a polyresin Godzilla, as you can see there does have all his uh, spikes and stuff, but it's still very, very super thin. Uh, and that's part of it. If this was like more 3D than it is, it is 3D, but it, if it was more 3D, I'd probably take this out. Um, standing on top of some rubble, eating some train cars, I guess. I think, it's hard to tell. Maybe he's eating a uh, meatball sub. Um, it's a very odd looking Godzilla. I guess it's supposed to evoke 54, but it kind of looks like like a 55. The eyes are giant and weird, uh, if you could see that. But this is also cool if you guys were thinking about this, if you wanted to see it. Um, the Jeep looks really nice, actually, I gotta say. See how the seats are colored. You can see it pretty much uh, from here. So you got the uh, lighter toned green chairs. That's nice. The windows are clear. Front looks very, very nice. Got the Japanese writing there. Some gold on the grill. White. The tires are rubber, and there is a die cast in this. That's pretty cool. The box is, you know, obviously part of the reason why I like it. This is a Willis. Willies? Willies? Uh. Is that Willis? I think it's Willis. MB Jeep. Or at least one. We're gonna look at the whole box and stuff. We got some monstrous facts. Godzilla's name is a transliteration of Gojira, which blends two Japanese words, go, uh, Gorira, meaning gorilla, and Kujira, meaning whale. Godzilla's overall form is a mixture of a Tyrannosaurus, Rex head, Iguanodon arms, and dorsal plates of a Stegosaurus. Hmm. Godzilla's raw was produced ru by rubbing leather, a leather glove soaked in pine tar over the strings of a contrabass. So everybody go, go, go give that a try. Um, the bottom here, which is probably just a cardboard, yep, that's what it feels like. Uh, it's pretty nice. Some more gravel has, it says Johnny Lightning, the ground salt on the side, um, on the front actually. So it's a really nice little pack. You know, you get 65th uh, Godzilla Anniversary logo there, and Godzilla over there. Over here, it says Silver Screen Machines, Holly Detail Poly Resin Relief, and the vehicle with die cast metal parts and chassis for rubber tires. This is very heavy for what it is. So, yeah, Poly Resin and die cast is gonna do that. So, it is very nice. You get some lightning bolts. But as you can see, it's so nice like this. It. it, it Taking this out, be this becomes less. Not that I care about the value or anything, but it just becomes less of a collectible for me and something less than what I would want to see. Uh, on the back, you just have um, you know, more Godzilla stuff. We, we can read this part here too. What's this? We're not doing anything else. The classic movie monster lives on. After turning the city to rubble, the Japanese Police Reserve Corps have equipped their Willis MB Jeep to try and bring down the mighty Godzilla. So, yeah. You could also get some barn finds, I guess. Uh, and, um, Barris Custom. So I don't, I don't know what that is. So yeah, so there's uh, Johnny Lightning. A little right up there. And there you go. That's it. 
And that's what you get here. Um, I like it. I like it so much like this that I just didn't want to do anything else. Uh, like I said, I did this once before, and that was with this one. This is the Spider Machine GP7, the SDCC exclusive. Um, I can't recall if this was an SDCC exclusive. I got mine through BBTS with um, the Godzilla 54 Venomate. That's how that whole package size was with that. Um, and these two got lost in transit here in New York. Uh, great. Um, so there you go. So it's not unprecedented that I would do something like this. It's because I don't really collect cards. So something like this, I would only get something special for. And these are, you know, something special. So um, for me, it's worth it to keep in the box. For you, maybe not. I haven't really gone over all the poly resin, but I can't really see it all that great, um, which is a shame. Eh, you can, but like, you see the background looks really nice. That's cool. And Godzilla has some nice texture to it. But I mean, honestly, you can't really, it, it's nothing spectacular. Um, and taking it out of packaging, I think will just, like kind of damage what you get. You know, um, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as the look goes. So this is nice, just like this for me. Hope you agree. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Till next time, peace out, peeps.